In this video, I'm going to show you which are the best web hosting providers for you as a beginner. I'll provide you with my top 5 hosting providers after I've tested out almost 20 of these companies. I'm not going to waste your time here by listing all the bad hosting providers and then confusing you with all the technical jargon that most people don't even understand. But instead, I'll provide you value by showing you the facts that actually matter, like the page load speed and website uptime statistics. I wanted to be transparent with you here and say that I did buy all these hosting plans with my own money so that I can provide you with high quality and unbiased reviews and test results. And to make this test fair, I made sure to install the same starter website, themes and plugins on all my hosting accounts. And now the categories that I'll base my comparison on are pricing, setup and ease of use, speed and uptime performance, support, and who I would actually recommend this hosting provider to. I'll have a special bonus offer for you if you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plans through my special discounted link in the description below. I also have a free checklist on starting a successful blog for everyone, so make sure to stick with me to the end and I'll show you how to get access to this bonus. I also just wanted to mention that these affiliate links will have exclusive discounts where you'll get to purchase your hosting plan at a discounted price which is lower than their regular price. So make sure to check out these links if you want to get the best deal on your chosen hosting provider. So now let's get right into this video. The first hosting provider on my list is A2 Hosting. I believe they have the best cPanel hosting for beginners. In my opinion, there are other custom user interfaces which are easier to navigate than cPanel, but if you're a newbie who just wants the most popular user interface which will have the most help and tutorials online, then I believe A2 Hosting is the best for you. A2 Hosting has great prices starting at just $2.99 per month. Their startup and drive plans are really cheap for the features you get, like the free personal website migration and the automatic daily backups on the drive plan. However, if you want better performance, with their latest tech like the NVMe storage and their Lightspeed servers which allow you to install their A2 optimized custom caching plugin to really increase your website page load speed, then you will need to go for the Turbo Boost or Turbo Max plans which is much more expensive. You'll find out in a few moments if this extra speed increase is worth the money. As I personally bought the Turbo Max plan myself to test them out, I scored A2 hosting a 9 out of 10 overall for the pricing section. Now with the setup and ease of use, as I mentioned before that once you click on the cPanel button from A2 Hosting's dashboard, it will just take you to the standard cPanel user interface where you can do things like install your WordPress website and SSL certificate. You will also be able to create your email address and everything else involving your website from here. As you can see here, installing your WordPress website with cPanel is not complicated at all, but the process just doesn't look beautiful which for me, I'm okay with. Another thing worth mentioning is that A2 Hosting has four data centers in three different countries, which you can host your websites on. This will greatly improve your website speed for your visitors if you or your business are located outside of the United States. I scored A2 Hosting a seven out of 10 overall for setup and ease of use here. Next is the speed and uptime performance. I bought my own Turbo Max plan from A2 Hosting to test out their performance and from my speed tests with GT Metrics, A2 Hosting loaded at 2.3 seconds, which is really solid already, but then I installed the A2 Optimized Custom Caching plugin, which is what you get on their turbo plans, and now my website loads in just 1.8 seconds. This is super fast and makes them one of the fastest shared hosting providers I have tested. They also easily pass Google's 3 second recommended site load speed. I also tested out A2 Hosting's Uptime with Uptime Robot and they produced a 99.988% uptime over the 30 day period, which is not the best overall, but is still very reliable and passes my minimum requirement of 99.95%. I scored A2 Hosting a 9 out of 10 overall for speed and uptime performance. Now A2 Hosting provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat and phone call so you can get in contact with them at any time of the day. I tested out A2 Hosting by asking them three different questions and they overall did a really good job. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. They were also willing to go the extra mile and scan my website and produce a malware report for me even though this was not within their scope. The only thing they did not do was remove the malware and was asked to pay extras for that service instead. 
Now, from contacting them at three different times of the day, I timed their average customer support response time to be around three and a half minutes, which was not the fastest, but past my minimum requirement of five minutes. So I scored A2 hosting and eight out of 10 for customer support. They did a great job again here. Now, after averaging out all the scores and giving double points for the performance section, which I believe is the most important criteria, A2 hosting had an overall average score of 8.5 out of 10. They are a really solid hosting company, so if you want to use the cPanel interface, then I strongly recommend you consider A2 Hosting. The second hosting provider on my list is SiteGround. SiteGround is well known in the industry for having amazing customer support, and from my live tests of pushing their support team to the limits, they lived up to their reputation, and so SiteGround is my recommendation for you if you're a beginner who values the customer support feature the most. SiteGround starts at $6.99 per month for the startup plan, which is quite high compared to their competitors. Even though their startup plan is more expensive, SiteGround's Grow Big and Go Geek plans are much more competitive, so if you're looking to build more than one website and want faster speeds, then I believe SiteGround is still a very solid option to consider. Their two higher plans will come with the SiteGround's custom caching plugin called SG Optimizer which will further increase your speed and the number of visits per month will also increase accordingly. A quick note is that all their plans have the automatic daily backup included for free, which is very important. Now, even though SiteGround's plans are not the cheapest, they claim to give you a big speed boost with their custom caching plugin, but I will test them out here to see if this speed increase is worth the money. I scored SiteGround a five out of 10 overall for pricing as they recently increased their price and have a cheaper monthly plan if you buy one year as opposed to three years, which does not make sense to me. Now with the setup and ease of use, SiteGround has their own custom user interface, which I also found to be one of the best and easiest to use. From their dashboard, it is really quick to create your own WordPress website. You just click on the website and you click on the new websites and follow the simple steps on the screen here and you'll be able to create your site. It's very simple. I also like how easy it is to install your SSL certificate too. As you can see here, it is quite different than cPanel, but it is still super easy. Another thing worth mentioning is that SiteGround has data centers in six different countries, which you can host your website on. I scored SiteGround a perfect 10 out of 10 overall for the setup and ease of use. Next is the speed and uptime performance. From the GoGeek plan that I bought from SiteGround, their GT metric speed without SG Optimizer installed was 2.7 seconds, which isn't that fast and probably a little too close to Google's three second limit. But when I installed their custom caching plugin, it boosted the speed to under two seconds. In fact, they came in at just 1.9 seconds now. I then tested SiteGround's uptime and they had a perfect 100% uptime over the 30 day period. They even went as far as not being down for 90 days straight, which is amazing. I scored SiteGround a 9 out of 10 overall for speed and uptime performance. I have to give them the bonus point here for the 3 months of no downtime. SiteGround provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat and phone calls. So you can get in contact with them at any time of the day. I tested out SiteGround by asking them the same 3 questions and once again their support team installed everything I asked and gave me the malware report. They only missed out on removing the malware which was not part of their promise. So I was really happy with their support overall. Now their customer support average wait time for these 3 interactions was 1 minute and 20 seconds. Which means they have one of the fastest response time from any shared hosting providers I have tested. I scored SiteGround a 9 out of 10 for customer support. They did an amazing job helping out their customers here. After adding up all these points, SiteGround scored an overall average of 8.5 out of 10. They are a really solid hosting company with top-notch support. Now, I have also made detailed individual reviews on all of the hosting companies on my list today. So if you want more information on a particular hosting provider, then you can check it out by clicking on one of the links in the description below. Here's a quick question for you. What is the main criteria you use to pick your hosting provider? Is it price, speed, or support? Let me know in the comments section below. The next hosting provider on my list is Green Geeks. I'm giving them the trophy for being the best performer in terms of speed and uptime. If you want the fastest speed from a shared hosting provider while still performing well in other areas, then Green Geeks is the one for you. 
Green Geeks has great prices on all three of their plans. The Lite plan starts at just $2.49, which is the cheapest on my list. Their next two plans, which gets you unlimited websites and an increase in speed, is also very cheap. All their plans also come with free automatic nightly backup, which is very important and they use light speed servers, which are meant to be super fast. A bonus from Green Geeks is you will get a free domain name for your first year on any of their hosting plans. I scored Green Geeks a 10 out of 10 overall here for the pricing category. Green Geeks uses a simple cPanel user interface with a few added custom things like the SSL certificate. As you can see, installing the SSL certificate is done on the custom dashboard if you find that easier than using cPanel, which is also possible for installing your SSL with Green Geeks. Next is the installation of your WordPress website. This one is done on cPanel the usual way. Simple, clean, but not that pretty. Green Geeks has three data centers in the United States, Canada, and Europe, which is not as many as some other hosting providers, but still good enough for diversification for non-US countries. I scored Green Geeks a 7 out of 10 overall for setup and ease of use. In terms of the website speed, I installed the Lightspeed caching plugin, which will only work on Lightspeed servers and is more on the high end compared to normal servers. And my GT metrics results shows that my website loaded in just 1.4 seconds, which makes them the fastest shared hosting provider on this list. Next is the uptime robot results, and this one was also a perfect 100% uptime and they kept this streak going for 95 days in a row. I scored Green Geeks a 10 out of 10 for speed and uptime performance. They really are perfect here and did such an awesome job. Green Geeks provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat and phone call. From the same three questions I asked Green Geeks, they answered them all really well. They were really knowledgeable and helpful. The only letdown here was their live chat support wait time. Their average was 16 minutes, which is over my 5 minute limit, and that is why they did not score that well. I had to score them a 6 out of 10 for customer support. So because this poor score is due to their wait time only, I believe if you're patient then I think Green Geek's support is still really good. Now after adding all the points up, Green Geeks produced an overall average score of 8.5 out of 10 also. You can see here, I'm only showing you the best performers from the almost 20 hosting providers I've tested. But if you want to see individual reviews from the rest of these hosting companies, then you can just go to my channel and check them all out. Now the next hosting company which I believe has the best user interface is DreamHost. I have to say they have the cleanest and easiest to navigate user interface. So if you want the best user interface, then I think DreamHost will fit in well with your business. DreamHost has the cheapest and simplest pricing plans from this list. They only have two, which are called the starter plan for $2.59 per month for one website and the unlimited plan for $3.95 per month for unlimited websites. All their plans also come with free automatic daily backup and a free domain with domain privacy included for free, which is a really solid offer for such cheap hosting plans. I scored DreamHost a 9 out of 10 overall here for the pricing category. DreamHost has the smoothest user interface as I mentioned above. You can see how clean it looks. Installing WordPress is also super simple as you can see here from my demo and I'll also prove it to you again by showing you the SSL certificate installation. As you can see I only had to click two buttons and that's it. I scored DreamHost a 10 out of 10 overall for setup and ease of use. They really have an awesome UI UX here. Now in terms of the website speed, DreamHost does not have any custom caching plugin that can be installed, so I installed the free WP Fastest Cache plugin instead. I then ran my speed test on GT Metrics and was able to achieve a 2.6 second page load speed, which is the slowest on my list here, but it still passed Google's recommended site load speed of 3 seconds. Now in terms of uptime, DreamHost scored a perfect 100% uptime with a streak of almost 2 months straight of no downtime. I scored DreamHost an 8 out of 10 for speed and uptime performance. Their speed is decent, but with a perfect uptime, it makes them great. DreamHost has 24-7 customer support through email. Their live chat is only during business hours, but you will still get a response to your email at any time of the day. They were one of the few support teams who was willing to remove the virus from my website as a one-time thing, which I was really pleasantly surprised with. However, 
I think they let themselves down with not having the 24-7 live chat support and also not installing the SSL certificate for me when I asked. Even though they were happy to guide me through it, they still wanted me to click the buttons myself. Their average customer support response time was also a bit too slow. It was 8 minutes, which was 3 minutes slower than my expectation. So I can only score them a 6 out of 10 for the overall customer support. Now after adding up all the points, DreamHost had an overall average score of 8 out of 10. They are a really solid hosting company with an awesome user interface. And even though they did not score as well as the others overall, they are the cheapest, so if you're happy to sacrifice some features, then I believe DreamHost will do a great job for you. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my roundup review so far? If yes, just make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I'll be releasing every week. The next hosting provider on my list is WPX Hosting. This is the best premium option on my list and I would also say they're the best overall if you have the budget. They are not your typical shared hosting provider but instead they're more of a managed WordPress hosting solution. So if you're not so concerned with price and just want the best then WPX Hosting is it as they were the number one overall hosting provider from the list of almost 20 different hosting companies I tested. WPX Hosting's cheapest plan starts at around $20 per month on the business plan and increases all the way to $83.25 per month on their elite plan. One quick note though is that WPX allows you to have five websites on their cheapest plan which is probably equivalent to most mid-tiered shared hosting plans from other companies as their basic plan only allows one website usually. WPX is a top of the line host. They use their own WPX Cloud CDN instead of Cloudflare. They will personally migrate an unlimited number of websites to them for free. They have the free automatic daily backups and also have free malware removal included on all their plans. I scored WPX Hosting a 10 out of 10 overall for this pricing category. They are really cheap compared to their premium competitors like Kinster and WP Engine. WPX Hosting has their own custom user interface which is really simple one. They don't confuse you with all the buttons and settings like some other hosting providers do. Installing your WordPress website is also simple as I show you a real life demo of the process right here now. The SSL certificate is also the same. A really easy few clicks will get that done for you. Now WPX has three server locations in the US, UK and Australia which should be enough for most people. I scored WPX a 9 out of 10 overall for setup and ease of use. Now for the website speed, I installed Lightspeed Cache plugin as WPX uses Lightspeed servers and my GT metrics results show that my website loaded in just 0.9 seconds, which makes them the fastest hosting company I have ever tested. Next is the uptime robot result. And this one was also a perfect 100% uptime with 53 days straight of no downtime. I scored WPX Hosting a perfect 10 out of 10 for speed and uptime performance. They really are the best in this category and their speed can't be matched. WPX Hosting provides 24-7 customer support through their live chat and email. And from the questions that I asked WPX, they answer them all the best and fix and install everything I wanted. They were one of the only companies willing to remove malware from me free of charge and they were also willing to go the extra mile and personally install Cloudflare for me which no other hosting companies has done before. WPX really goes above and beyond for their customers here. Really well done. Now their average customer support wait time was only 19 seconds as well, which is incredible and also makes them one of the fastest from my test. I gave WPX hosting another perfect 10 out of 10 for customer support. I really can't pick out any fault here either. Now after adding all the points up, WPX hosting scored a perfect 10 out of 10 overall. They were the only one out of the 20 hosting providers I tested that achieved this and so I believe they are worthy of being the best overall on this list. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to get any of these web hosting plan with my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you back access to my bonus course right away. And if you want to get access to my free checklist on starting a successful blog, then just go to this link in the description where you can get access to that from there. Now I think picking the right hosting provider for your business is such a crucial step and you must get this right. So now that you have decided on a great hosting provider from my list here, you are now ready to go out and fully build your own successful website. And this next video will help you do just that. 
So I'll see you over in that next video.